Welcome again to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. This is the fourth experiment of the thermocouples using thermocouples. In the last two experiments, I proved the first and the second law of thermocouples. Yet the third law would require a very sophisticated uh, machines and uh, equipment that I do not have, unfortunately. So you just have to believe this third law. Okay, I'm kidding. No, uh, I will show you in this experiment why it is very important to know what is what is the actual temperature mm -hmm. of the connection of the thermocouple wire to the copper wire to the measuring equipment, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, I will turn on the multimeter. We get, as always, zero voltage because both the thermocouple junction and the, the connection junction are in the same temperature. If you watch the first experiment, you will see that by heating up the measuring junction of the thermocouple, we will get readings in the multimeter screen. But what will happen if we change the temperature in the connection junction. This is the reference junction, as it is usually called. Let's see. I will use this thermal gun to heat up the junction. As you see, we are getting readings. And actually, we are getting negative readings. This means that if we try to measure with this thermocouple something and we don't know what the temperature in the connection is, then we will probably get very false readings. So that's it with this experiment. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting theory.